So, very clever. I did not see this land cycle come, coming, and honestly, it's not bad. They are swamp forest islands, so they are tri lands, and they have cycling. They do come and play tapped, of course, otherwise, they would be too strong. They would actually be even better than dual land, the OG dual lands. Now, th these are the artworks that you get from the collector's box, and this is the push. So Wizard of the Coast absolutely knows what it's doing. It's trying to milk as much money during the worst time. The job reports, 6.6 .6 million people last week filed for unemployment. Two weeks ago, it was a 6.6 .6 million again. And then the week before, it was 3.3 .3 million. Now, I've talked to a few individuals who are knowledgeable about unemployment, uh, a few unemployment lawyers, labor, labor lawyers, and they're telling me that 6.6 .6 million isn't all the people who filed. It's just the people who, it's just the cases. That's the maximal amount of cases they can do. So even if 10 or 12 million people filed, they can only report 6.6 .6 million because that's all the cases that have been handled at the time. That's their max limit. So we actually do not know until the number goes down from 6.6 .6 million how many people are actually losing their jobs every single week. Uh, and again, it's cumulative, right? So unless that 6.6 .6 million last week they all found jobs, we're looking at massive unemployment. And it's the perfect time to put good land out. It wasn't Pharaoh's Beyond Death where people were still employed and had money. That would be a good time to put these out, right? Uh, these are going to be good. Uh, I don't doubt. So a lot of you will take it out of context, what I'm going to say. These will be valuable. These will be EDH playable. And they are going to be incredibly expensive, these particular versions of them. The issue, the big issue I have is right now it's just not the time. Like if you have money and you can buy this stuff, good for you. But that's not everyone. The amount of collections I've seen is just absurd. I'll give you one example. A dude wants to sell me 120 boxes of, what is it, Modern Master? Some, some, rant, some really expensive set. He's just been hoard, hoarding 120 boxes of this set. And I assume that they're in cases of four. And that's why he has that number. I didn't ask him about the cases and he wanted like a very high price. He essentially wanted TCG player lows uh, and then that's and then minus the fees. So instead of selling on TCG player and paying fees and shipping, he wanted to sell to one buyer in person. I said no. Because if I wanted to buy from TCG player, I could actually buy it cheaper right, on eBay with a coupon or something. So right now, if you are going to buy Magic Cards, I just ask you to really look at your finances and see if you have enough money until, worst case scenario, until the end of the year, best case scenario, until next month. You don't know, unless you're your own boss, um, which I am, so I know exactly what my financials are, look like and they look very clean they look very good because i i'm a digital marketing company and we do heavy e-commerce we don't suffer at all from this yes we lost some clients of course like everyone but we picked up some new clients too just these are valuable these are going to be expensive don't right now it is the worst time to be financially irresponsible buying magic cards I know so many people in my local Humble who will buy the new set and then a few months later they have to sell for peanuts because you know they need rent, they miscalculated money, they've been laid off or their part-time job has failed them in some capacity. Be smart with your money. These are beautiful. They are absolutely stunning. <laughs> Employee. Bye.